and Uncleheads, Uncle Knack is here. I'm in the car today on the hunt for some recycled timber pallets. I want to make some raised garden beds for my veggie patch. Nothing like fresh veggies. And recycled timber pallets are the ideal material. And the best thing is, is that you can pick them up for free. Just go on down to your local industrial estate and ask in the shops there. They're always throwing pallets out. Anyway, wish me luck. There you go, just over there. What did I tell you? Bingo, here we go, a couple of freebies. Just asked the guys inside and they said no dramas. Happy days. Now that you've got the pallet home, you've got to pull the bugger apart. And it can be a little bit tricky. So to save the old back, what I do is I stand it up against something. I've got it up against my old saw bench here. And to remove the slats themselves, some guys get a power saw and they chop through here. And that way eliminating removing these nails. But personally, I actually like the nails. I like the nail holes. That adds a bit of rustic charm. So what I like to do is grab my old chisel, just an old bertha that you don't mind damaging a little bit, and with my hammer. And the objective is to separate this paling or this slat away from the 4B2, just a little bit. So I get my chisel, tap it in, a bit of a lever, go all the way along. Now all I do now is get my reciprocating saw with a metal cutting blade and run that along the gap that I've created with my chisel and hammer. Now look, some blokes are obsessed with getting it done fast and all that sort of stuff. Don't worry about it. Take your time, save your back, it'll get done. Okay, here we go. How easy was that? And not one bit of stress on the old back. And just repeat that process for the other side. Too easy. Now time for the centre rail. The nails have been cut on either end and now the boards are swinging from the centre point. So we need to remove these nails. So all I do is grab a pry bar, a jemmy bar, something like that. Put it underneath the slat and give it a tap with your hammer. Now give it a gentle lift, don't be too violent because pallets are prone to splitting. So just gently lift off. Bob's your uncle, pretty easy. And your back's still in one piece. Now to remove the cut off nails that are left in the board, all you have to do is grab a punch and a hammer and punch them out. And now you're left with a couple of beautiful rustic old nail holes. I reckon they look fantastic. Like this old board here. You can't replicate that. I love it. That's why I don't chop it off. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Now one of the main reasons why I like to use old hardwood pallets for this job is that not only is it durable, but underneath this exterior is some beautiful Aussie hardwood. So I'm just going to whack on some protective equipment and get my planer and just give it a bit of a light plane just to bring out some of the colour and knock off some of those rough edges. Let's do it. There you go, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those nail holes. Very, very rustic. I love it. And it's also done a good job of taking off some of those rough edges. So when the kids lean over to pick their carrots, they're not going to get a splinter. We've planed and denailed all these boards. Now it's time to cut to length. Now you can cut your board to any length that you desire, depending on how big you want to make your garden bed. In my case, I want to maximise the length of each of these boards because I want to retain some of this character. I don't want to cut that off. Now each side of my garden bed, my vegetable patch, I'm going to have four of these wider boards and two of the narrow boards. And on one end, I'm going to have two of the wider boards and one of the narrow board. And on the other end, well that's a surprise. You'll have to keep on watching this video 
to see what I'm going to do there. Anyway, I better get cracking and cut some of these boards. Don't forget, earmuffs, goggles. Okay. Great way to get the panel tight is to use a clamp like this. Beautiful. Now this is a really good tip to ensure that your panel is going to be straight and square. Set it up on top of an old table or a workbench and line the edges of your panel up with the edges of the table or workbench. And what that will do is that will ensure that this is a nice 90 degree angle, hence your panel is going to be square. And to get these edges all nice and straight, just grab your straight edge or a square like this and tap them up. Screw this off, then we're ready to assemble some panels. Happy days. So I've been busy and I've knocked up one of the sides. Ooh Looks pretty cool doesn't it? And it's all held together with a framework of old pallet boards that I've screwed to the back here. Now I've got an extra long one along the top because I want to screw some capping to this and the extra board gives me some extra width which gives me some extra room to screw my screws into. But anyway, enough of that. I've got two more of these to do so I better get cracking. Now to save you the boredom of watching me screw sections of timber together, because seriously, it is ridiculously easy, I've gone ahead and I've assembled a garden bed. Now, I must admit, I did have a little helper. Oh, good job, mate. Is it nice and smooth? Uh, not yet. Okay, keep going. Just go check it first. All right, mate, you check it. Yep, good job. Now this is what I call a garden bed. Good magazine. Well there she is. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now check out these features. First of all, that as it stands cost me $22. The timber was free and the $22 was for the screws. Secondly, it's made out of beautiful Aussie hardwood. That's going to last for years. Now I've excavated around the perimeter of the garden bed so that it now sits nice and level. And I've also orientated the garden bed so that it faces north and south. That way we can utilise the full effect of the sun. This model also comes with two torsion bars, timber torsion bars, that stop the old girl from spreading apart when she's full of dirt. And how's this for a feature? One of the ends of the garden bed is a full pallet. And we're going to use this as a climbing ladder for our peas and beans. How good's that? Now check this out. I wanted to utilise every aspect of this old pallet. So between these two top slats, I dropped in a floor out of a piece of old timber. And I drilled a series of holes to act as drainage. And what I'll do next is I'll put some garden matting down, fill it full of soil, and grow some beautiful herbs. That'll be fantastic. And what's this I hear you say? And how's this for a tricky little feature? I knocked that up out of an old pallet board. We've got a top and a couple of braces, one there and one there, and the holes I drilled with a hole saw that I use for cutting out door handles. So I put a series of holes in the top, just like that. And the purpose for this is to put in my garden tools. What a ripper! Another feature is that I've put on some capping and I've also rounded the edge on the corners to make it a bit safer. And check this out, I've even named it. I got a stencil off the internet and uh, spray painted the name of my vegetable patch. Love it. Now just to top things off, I've put down some garden mat to stop the weeds from coming up. And I've also ran up the sides of the garden bed as well just to help protect the timber. Now you'll also notice that 
I've screwed a bit of 25mm poly pipe to the side of the garden bed with a couple of clamps. There's four in total, one here, one over there, one down there, and one across there. And the reason for it is, if you have a bird or a pest problem, get a piece of 20mm pipe and insert it into a 25mm piece of poly pipe. And what that creates is a hoop, just like that. So you have one here and one here. Now all you do is throw your bird netting over these hoops and it protects your plants. Fantastic! And finally I applied a coat of water-based decking oil to the outside of the garden bed just for a bit of added protection. So there you have it. How to make a raised garden bed out of old pallets. Great tip, Nakaz! And as per usual, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, subscribe to my channel. The button's just down there. Thumbs up, the button's down there. And check us out on Facebook, DIY for Knuckleheads. It's a ripper. I almost forgot, for costings, materials required, and tools required for this job, I've made a list in the description box, so check that out. So anyway, till next time, happy gardening, I'm out of here. Cheers.